Hi, good day, brothers and sisters. Oh, once again, this is Pastor Angelo Cantuba, and we are back uh, from a two-day hiatus, <laughs> I should say. I'm really sorry if I was not able to upload a uh, couple of days our daily devotion, uh, but uh, we are now back in our track, and I pray that as you listen to this, may you be refreshed and encouraged, and uh, also I am... Uh, praying that even though I was not able to upload uh, our devotion for two days, that you were able to, uh, first of all, to finish all your back backlogs with uh, the previous uh, devotional recording that I have uh, uploaded. And another thing is that you also have your own uh, devotions. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's all pray. Father, we thank you for this day that you have allowed us once again to study your word and to uh, make sure lord that we'll be well fed in our spiritual lives we pray that you continue to humble our hearts give us lord that um, teachable heart that we may learn from you from your word and help us lord god to apply everything that we've learned in our lives we thank you lord god for all your blessing your grace and your mercy and your love in jesus name we pray amen so we're now down to our devotional recording number 18 so our text is in philippians chapter 3 okay philippians chapter 3 verses uh 10 I'm sorry, uh, verse 10 lang po tayo today. So ito lang yung ating tututukan ngayon and I pray na may matutunan tayo ngayon. No? So basahin ko lang po sa verse 10. I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of His resurrection and participation in His sufferings, becoming like Him in His death. Basahin ko rin 11 para buo yung context. And so somehow attaining the resurrection from the dead. Pagpalain pong pagkabasa ng salita ng Diyos. Uh, ito pong mga nakalang araw, no? Uh, alam ko, may mga pinagdadaanan tayo, may mga uh, gawain tayo sa personal lives natin. Uh, we have to attend to. And also, uh, for the past few weeks and days, maraming challenges din tayong kinakaharap. Yung iba, uh, medyo hirap sa finances. Yung iba naman sa kanilang relationships uh, some uh, kanil, sa kanilang purity sa kanilang paglakad sa makipot na daan and some are just uh, fearful of what's uh, the f- what the future holds or what's in store for them in the future no? so talagang may mga anxieties tayo uh, legitimate anxieties and at the same time uh, may mga pagkakataon din talaga na nag-fall tayo sa sin, nakakaranas tayo ng mga pagbagsak at uh, hindi ito nagiging madali para sa atin. So may this message remind us of who we are in Christ and who Christ is to us. Ito pong Philippians, pinag-aralan natin ito many times at napakaganda nitong chapter 3 na ito kasi maraming tinuturo sa atin ito. I remember two years ago, I was preaching about this and when I, I first heard the sermon about this in Higher Rock uh, Reformed Church, I was crying my eyes out. I was so moved by the words of God na nakita ko yung passion ni Paul and knowing Christ na tinalikuran niya lahat, kinonsider niyang garbage. Hindi nga lang garbage eh, yung dumi, yung uh, skibulon sa Greek, no? yung uh, dung, no? yung, tinigdan niya gano'n yung sarili niya compared to the knowledge of Christ, yung makilala ang Panginoon. At uh, tinanggal niya yung kanyang confidence o yung kanyang um, tiwala sa sarili, sa kanyang mga gawa, tiwala sa kanyang mga na, na-accomplish na, mga nagawa sa kanyang buhay. Pero, ni reiterate niya that it's all about the finished work of Christ. But he didn't stop there. Nakita natin yung passion ni Paul to make sure na siya ay uh, sold out in the idea of uh, 
the truth that he wants nothing of this world but everything about Christ. Na walang ibang paraan or walang ibang desire na meron siya kundi yung kilalanin kung sino ang Panginoon at maipakilala rin siya. At hindi lang siya makilala kundi lumalim yung pagkaunawa niya kung sino ba si Kristo. Kaya ang statement niya po sa verse 10, I want to know Christ. And he reiterated it by saying yes. When he said yes, it's it's as if saying na uh, ito lang talaga yung gusto ko. Tama kayo sa narinig nyo. I don't care about the world. I don't care about the riches of this world. The things that could satisfy my physical needs or my uh, desires. But I want to know Christ. And to know about what? Sabi dito, I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of His resurrection. What is in the power of His resurrection? Makita po natin, when Jesus Christ resurrected, He overcame sin and death. And that is the power of His resurrection. That one day, we will all be glorified in Christ. Na yung sinfulness ng tao, in this sinful nature, will be eradicated totally. At magkakaroon na tayo ng actual, uh, yung a- a- actual fellowship kay Christ because of uh, the uh, glorified bodies that we have. That's what Paul wanted. To know the power of His resurrection, how it affects Him as a Christian. How, is, uh, how it affects Him as a disciple of Christ. Una, sa konteksto na nandito pa siya sa lupa ng mga panahong sinulat niya ito at pangalawa, yung nandoon na siya sa pil ng Panginoon doon po muna tayo sa lupa knowing the power and understanding the power of His resurrection is understanding that we can overcome sin we can overcome sin this uh, uh, side of heaven and when I say overcome it doesn't mean hindi ka na magkakasala but overcoming sin is through the humility of our hearts in repentance. That's how we overcome sin. It's not on how much you didn't sin or how, how many sins you've avoided, but on how we placed our, our, our faith in the finished work of Christ that purchased us. Yung nagbayad sa ating mga kasalanan. Yun po ang katagumpayan sa kanyang resurrection. Yung nabuhay na mag si Kristo at dinisplay niya sa buong mundo, sa buong universe. Even sa kanyang mga kaaway na napanaluna niya. Ang, uh, nanalo siya laban sa kamatayan na sanhi ng kasalanan. That's the power of His resurrection. And among others na ma-experience natin sa kapangyarihan ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay is the peace that we have with the Father. Yung kapayapaan, hindi lang to ceasefire, rather a uh, cessation. Hindi, hindi lang yung tigil putuan, kundi pagtapos ng gera, wala na pong gera. We are now, uh, sabi hindi na tayo kaaway, but we are now friends of God. We are now uh, one with God. Hindi na natin siya kalaban, kundi magkaparesa tayo ng bakod. Hindi dahil pumanig sa atin si God, but tayo yung pumanig sa kanya we are now in Christ and whoever is in Christ he is a new creation the old is gone the new has come and this is when uh, we understand the, the 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 verse na sinabi for we are crucified with Christ we no longer live but Christ lives in us hindi na tayo namumuhay ng si Cristo na namumuhay sa atin that is when we uh, live a holy life at hindi ito yung pamumuhay ng hindi nagkakasala para ipagmalaki natin. Hindi. Pagkat itong performance natin ng kabutihan, performance natin ng paggawa ng kabanalan, eh naka-attribute po ito sa kapangyarihan ng muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo. And he continued, hindi lamang niya alamin at kilalanin o i, uh, mas maintindihan ng res- kapangyarihan ng resurrection ng Panginoon sa Kristo, pero paging sa kanyang kamatayan. Sabi dito, and participation in His sufferings. What does it mean to participate in His sufferings? Sa Greek po, yung word na, na uh, ginamit in English is to conform. Conforming in His suffering. Kung paano nag-suffer si Christ, and we expect nothing less. 
kundi inaalam natin na or dinidesire natin na kung paano naghihirap ang Panginoon, eh ganun din ang gusto natin. Hindi lang yung kanyang paghahari, hindi lang yung kanyang muling pagkabuhay, but also that via dolorosa that He took, that crucifixion that He participated into, for which we are also called to conform. We are called to conform in the death, uh, uh, the death of ourselves, in the denial of ourselves. And that's how we know the resurrection of Christ, but by also participating in His sufferings. That in this world, He didn't sin. Tayo, nagkakasala tayo. No? Nagkakasala pa rin tayo, pero ang calling natin is to conform in His suffering. And what kind of suffering is that? His sufferings in uh, obeying Christ. Yung sufferings na attributed when He said, If you want to follow me, you must deny yourself, carry your cross daily, and follow me. Meaning, are you willing to die for the cause of Christ? Are you willing to die to sin? Are you willing to follow him even it means certain death? So makita po natin na ito po ay tinutukoy ni Pablo. Hindi lamang sa mabuting bagay na nararanasan natin kay Kristo na para bang ang daming Kristiyano na Maria, hirapan lang ng onte eh iyakan na tayo kagad. Hindi naman sinasabi kong masamang umiyak pag nagsasuffer tayo, pero ang punto dito is kung ikumpara natin ang suffering na dinanas si Kristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo o sa dapat nating sapitin kung hindi na matay si Kristo at hindi siya na-resurrect, yung suffering na dapat gag, uh, mararanasan natin sa impyerno, kumpara natin sa suffering na meron tayo ngayon, We have all the reason to rejoice, not because but not because we suffer. Then I preached ko before. We 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 don't rejoice because uh, uh, we suffer, or in spite of we suffer. Wait, tigko po. Hindi tayo gonna rejoice sa suffering, kahit parin sa suffer tayo. That's not the point. The point is, we rejoice because we suffer for Christ. Is the point. We suffer in depriving ourselves of the sinful things that our, our flesh desires. Yung dinidesire ng ating mga laman, ng ating uh, pag- pagiging tao. We suffer when we uh, say no to sin. Nandun yung suffering. But also, yung literal na suffering in affliction, in sickness, in um, need, in lack. Everything that the Christian person suffers in line with following Christ is something to rejoice for. But if we suffer because of our sins, the consequences of sin, it's nothing to be proud of. So if we will suffer, let us suffer for the sake of Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 5, sabi po dito, Paul said, just as we uh, For just as we share abundantly in the suffering of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. Kung gayon, gayon din naman, kung kami ay labis na naghihirap uh, para kay Kristo, ganun din naman yung uh, kalinga na na kay Kristo. Yung comfort, yung pag-aaruga sa atin ng Panginoon, ganun din naman. Yan po ang kagandahan ng Christian suffering. Again, it, that is if we suffer for the sake of Christ, for the sake of holiness. But if we suffer as, as a result of our sin, we must repent. We must repent. In verse 11, sabi dito, as a verse uh, 10, uh, ulitin ko lang po sa um, verse 10, I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of His resurrection and participate in His sufferings, becoming like Him in His death. Ang desire ni Paul is not only to suffer, but to die like Christ. To die like Christ. Ano pong may kita natin dito? Now, I don't think in our lifetime ipapako tayo kagaya ni Kristo o mararanasan natin yung kamatayan na ginayari kay Kristo. But if that desire leads us to not only want to be identified or conformed sa mga maubuting Uh, bagay sa ating standard like prosperity, healing or whatever 
yung mga ganong bagay na ina-associate natin kay Christ. Sana, even sa kanyang kamatayan, willing tayo to participate and to conform. In verse 11, sabi, And so, somehow, attaining to the resurrection from the dead. And somehow, attaining. What, what, what does it mean? Uh, hindi, hindi, hindi ito nangangarap si Pablo na sana ako rin ay ma-resurrect. Hindi yun. Kundi nandun yung, yung uh, kanyang kasiguraduhan na alam niya that if he suffer for Christ, alam niya if he um, conform in the image of Christ, in, in his suffering and in his death, even in, in his death, alam niya na meron siyang resurrection. Meron siyang buhay na walang hanggan. Meron siyang muling pagkabuhay. At ganun nga po ang nangyari kay Pablo. Hindi niya naiwasan ang kamatayan, brutal death, but ganun din po. Hindi nagsinungan niya salita ng Diyos. Siya may buhay na walang hanggan. And one day, when all the dead will be resurrected, isa po siya sa magpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Na ito na Panginoon, na ating ko na yung full circle or yung na consummate na yung kapangyarihan ng inyong muling pagkabuhay because I am also resurrected. And I pray ganun din po ang maging desire natin. Sa lockdown na ito, I pray that may we all continue to pursue Christ, the beauty of His holiness, and also pursue self-denial. Yun po ang ating goal na habang tumatagal tong lockdown at eh, lalo lumalalim ang ating pagkakilala kay Kristo Jesus kalimutan natin ang lahat ng bagay wag lang si Kristo maraming salamat sa oras niyo mga kapatid and I pray that you were encouraged and I will continue uh, this um, devotional recording uh, hanggang uh, sumasusulid na araw thank you so much and God bless you all let us pray Father we thank you for you have known us from the foundations of the world and now our desire is to know you more We pray that you grant us continuous hunger and thirst for your word, for holy living and for prayer. And I pray, Lord, that you grant us, Lord, that uh, strength to overcome sin, that humility, Lord, to to, uh, humble ourselves and submit to you and to each other, Lord, to submit to one another in Christ so as to edify one another. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy. Be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all.